Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Zoe. I lost over a hundred pounds and have kept it off for over five years. If you are not new here, you may have heard me talk about this before, but something I have never specified is that I actually lost the first 60 of my 100 pounds by just walking. I did no other exercise at all. I never went to the gym, didn't do yoga, didn't lift weights. The only form of exercise for the first 60 pounds of weight loss was walking. Now, many of you know I lost over 100 pounds completely naturally on my own. No coach, no pharmaceuticals, just changing the way I ate and then incorporating movement as I began to learn more about health and fitness and how my own body works. I never really spoke specifically about the walking because it seemed like such a simple thing, but I was recently talking to some of you on Instagram and a lot of you were wondering, is adding more walks into your routine important? Is the amount of steps that you take in a day important? Does that really contribute much at all to your weight loss journey? And the answer is yes. So I'm going to be sharing with you the first 60 pounds of my weight loss specifically and how I used walking along with a diet change to help me get there. Before I get into it though, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It's completely free to do and it really helps my channel grow. Okay, so I was 224 pounds at my heaviest and I decided that I was going to try yet again to lose weight. I had tried many times in the past. I tried all kinds of fad diets and things that just didn't work. I was listening to the standard American diet and just trying to eat less of the same garbage I was eating and it wasn't working. So eventually I found what worked for me which was a Mediterranean style of the ketogenic diet. And I still eat that way today. I am a little bit more lenient on the carbs now that I have fixed my metabolic health, but I am still pretty darn low carb on my day-to-day -day macros. Now the first probably month, yeah, I would say first four or five weeks, I wasn't adding any exercise in at all. I only changed the way that I ate and I was not increasing my steps at all. The steps and the walking kind of came by accident and I'll get into that in a moment. But the first month of my weight loss came strictly from changing my diet. I went from the standard American diet to a Mediterranean keto kind of fusion diet and I lost 12 pounds in my first month of my weight loss journey by going keto and making it a clean version of keto. And that is just what worked for me. Now you will have to find what works for you. I know lots of people that have had success eating the way that I eat, but others may prefer a different approach. Not everybody's body is the same. So I was feeling really, really good about myself. I knew exercise was important. However, I was intimidated and embarrassed to go into the gym and be around all these fit people who knew what they were doing when I had absolutely no idea what I was doing and just felt like I didn't belong in the gym, which is absolute baloney. But at the time, that's really what I felt. How walking came into play is at the time I was working at a bank and as kind of like a team building activity we all had fitbits and we decided we would do a step challenge for the week and whoever got the most steps in that week got to go home early on that friday and we all took it so seriously i mean we were like walking as much as possible anytime there wasn't customers in the bank we were like walking around the bank i mean we were doing anything we could to get our steps up in the morning i was getting up early to get more steps in I would go home, I was a single mom at the time, so I would you know, have that time with my daughter after school and then I would put on a movie for her and let her watch her movie while I walked laps around my house. And then afterwards, you know, it was mom time, dinner time, bedtime, all of that. And I would get extra steps in before going to sleep just so I could win this competition. <laughs> we were so competitive. And that week, 
I lost the most amount of pounds in a week that I ever have in my entire fitness journey. And it made me realize how little I was moving. I before then was averaging about 4,000 steps a day. When we started that challenge, I was averaging about 20,000 steps a day, which is quite a drastic jump from 4,000. So of course I am burning so many more calories. I'm moving my body so much more, but it wasn't anything that felt difficult. It didn't feel hard. I didn't feel exhausted at the end of the day. I didn't feel tired. It didn't feel like I was really doing anything extra. Whereas if you go and do a really, really hard weight lift in the gym for an hour, you are going to feel smoked at the end. Whereas if you just increase your step count, you don't really feel it the same way that you do when you do a hard workout. We had so much fun doing this challenge. We decided to just make it a continuous thing. The most amount of steps I got in a day during this challenge, which is like absurd, <laughs> was 64,000 steps in a day. I woke up early and walked and walked and walked and walked and walked. And then when I got to work, every chance we got, we were walking and it got to the point where even when customers came into the bank, we kept walking, like we would walk in place. And then it became kind of fun because customers were like, what are you doing? And we kind of told them about the challenge and they started doing it with us. So then when they would come in, they would also start walking in place. And we just made it a really fun, enjoyable thing that we did together. So I continued this for months. I made sure that I got the most amount of steps in I could in a day because it was part of a fun challenge. This made me burn so many calories. I had never moved my body so much in my life and it didn't feel extra difficult. Now, obviously this isn't practical for everyone. If you either don't have a Fitbit or you don't have a group of friends who would want to do something like that with you, all you have to do is just be mindful of how often you're moving or just take the initiative to go for two extra walks a day. If you have the time in the morning to go for a morning walk, do that before you continue on with your day. Or if you don't, at least take a walk in the evening after dinner not only is it going to increase your step count get your body moving and burn more calories walking puts you in the ultimate fat burning mode and if you walk after a meal directly after eating a meal it can actually help decrease your blood sugar spike by 30 percent which is huge so if you were able to I would recommend going for a walk after each and every meal. Again, you have to do what works for your lifestyle, but just making the conscious effort to do so will help you see results. Now, after I had lost about 60 pounds, I was a whole lot more confident. I wanted to put on some muscle and really tone my body, and that's when I started going to the gym. But in today's video, I only want to talk about the first 60 pounds and how I only used walking. So that challenge went on for a couple of months and then everybody else, you know, kind of fell off the wagon and was done with that. But I loved what it was doing for my body. So I wanted to increase the amount of steps I was getting and continue doing that. Now, what I don't necessarily recommend is going from 4,000 to 20,000 like I did. That is a huge leap. You don't have to do that. It's a big jump. But if you notice that on average you get between four and 6,000 steps a day, I'm just using that number as an example, maybe make the new goal seven to 9,000. And once you get used to that, you can increase it again and go from 10 to 11,000 to 12,000 to 13,000 to 14,000 and increase it in these smaller increments when you can. So that way your body never gets a chance to adapt to such a large number all at once, and then you just have to continue doing more and more and more. It's better to increase those steps steadily and not such a big jump like I did because then it just makes it 
harder for adding an extra thousand steps to do anything. So here is what the breakdown kind of looked like for me. During my first week of walking when we started this competition, before then I was averaging like 4,000 steps a day, I was pretty sedentary. When we started that first week challenge, my steps were anywhere from 12,000 to 20,000 a day. After that first week, when we got even more competitive, it went up to about 30 to 40,000 a day. And I had one 64,000 step day in there, which was absurd. But for a long time, my steps were in that like 30 to 40,000 step range, which is a lot. So I did that while we were doing the challenge. And then after a couple months when everybody kind of fell off the wagon and it was just me doing the steps by myself, I aimed to get at least 12,000 steps a day as just my bare minimum. And the goal was just to get more than that as much as I could. And I had a lot of excuses. I was a single mom. I had a toddler. I had not a lot of help. I also lived in Texas where the weather was unpredictable. So walking outside wasn't always a good option, but I would put headphones in and I would walk laps around my house. I would park further away at a grocery store. I would do whatever I needed to do to get those steps in. If you work in an office setting where it's acceptable for you to stand up for a minute and even walk in place a little bit, just adding this light form of exercise in throughout your day helps burn so much fat without making you feel like you're burning a lot of fat. You don't feel exhausted. You're not all sweaty and gross. And it's a really easy and sustainable way to get more movement in. So my first month during my weight loss journey, like I said, I lost 12 pounds. After that, my second month was 11 pounds, and every month after that was about 10 pounds. So I lost 60 pounds in about the first six or seven months of my weight loss journey. And all I did was walk. Now, I kept that up for a very long time, and now that my body is where I want it to be, I am happy with my overall physique, and I am in more of a maintenance phase, I don't actually count my steps anymore. I don't wear a Fitbit anymore. I don't have an Apple watch, but I do make sure that if I feel like I've not moved enough throughout the day, I will put in that effort to go for a walk. I will go for a 10 or 15 minute walk either by myself or with a friend or I'll walk the dog or I'll walk with my kids, whatever I need to do to make sure that I keep my body moving. Walking is such an easy thing to implement into anybody's lifestyle. You can go outside and go for a hike if you love being outdoors. If the weather doesn't permit, you can walk around your house or around a mall, around a store, find some kind of climate controlled area where you want to walk around. If you need to take a business phone call, pace around in a circle if you need to while you talk just to get those steps in. I know it's not the funnest thing in the world, but if you can park further away from the entrance to a store, that's another great way to get those steps in. I think walking is a really underrated form of exercise because it seems so easy, but honestly, that is the beauty of it. It is easy and it is effective. Like I said in the beginning, I was 224 pounds. Running for me was not going to happen. I had no idea what to do in the gym and I was embarrassed to go. So I didn't want to weight lift. I was too shy and didn't have the confidence to go to any kind of a fitness class like a yoga or a Pilates or orange theory or anything like that. So the simplest way for me to get started was just walking, walking and changing my diet and increasing those steps gradually over time helped me lose that first 60 pounds before I even stepped foot into a gym. Again, everybody's different. You have to find what works for you. But I did recently give some advice to a subscriber over Instagram DMs, and she has had amazing results. So I kind of told her about the walking and the steps and the Mediterranean keto protocol, which she adhered to. She started off her first week with 10,000 steps. Week two was 12,000. Week three was 14,000. Week four was 15,000 
And week five is 16,000 steps per day. And in five weeks, she has lost 11 pounds. So I hope this video motivates you to go for walks more often, whether it's by yourself with some headphones in, whether it's on the treadmill at the gym, outside on a hike with friends, with family, with your kids, with your dogs, with your neighbors, just get those extra steps in and move your body as much as you can. You don't have to have a Fitbit or an Apple watch or any kind of step counter to get started. Just simply adding extra walks to your day will be beneficial. So that is it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't be shy. You can reach out to me on Instagram at Zoe Carter Lux or leave a comment down below. I respond to every single DM and I respond to every single comment. I hope this video was motivational and inspiring and gives you hope that if you are going through a weight loss journey yourself right now, you absolutely can do it. If I can do it, you can do it, anyone can do it. You just have to have the right support. And if you don't have the right support around you, I will be your support. I will be your biggest cheerleader. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous rest of the day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.